have we got here? With Dr. Day. So here we are in a beautiful, isolated, rocky gorge. But we're not alone. There's a feral animal that has moved into places like this all across the Murray-Darling Basin. And here's some evidence of one right here. These are goat droppings. This is a sure sign that feral goats have moved into this area. The numbers of feral goats vary dramatically with conditions, going down in droughts and then rebounding in good seasons. So this is a big problem. There's a lot of these animals. And here's an example of the sort of damage feral goats can do to our native plants. This is an eremophila here. One branch, second branch, pulled down to get to the, uh, the leaves rubbing here. Yeah, this poor little plant probably won't survive. But as well as eating our vegetation, one of the big problems with goats is their hooves. Sharp, small feet that dig into the soil. And as they run around, they chop up the delicate surface of the soil, so the next time it rains or the wind blows, all those nutrients are lost. So although feral goats are a major problem in our national parks and other protected areas, in many farming districts, uh, farmers rely on them as a, as a source of income, mustering them up uh, and selling them off for meat. By filling in dams, or fencing out watering points like here, land managers can restrict access of feral goats to many areas, restricting their numbers and preserving what's left of the vegetation throughout the Murray-Darling Basin. So goats aren't necessarily bad, it's just when they get into the bush that they cause so many problems. And out here, they just don't belong. Roar! 